I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. I was at best average at most things, and my core competencies were partying, chilling, and I was trying to be a cool guy. So, to be honest, all this didn't make me happy. I felt empty, I felt shallow, and most of the time I felt pretty miserable. Suffering is an inescapable fact of life. That's why paradoxically enough, freeing yourself from suffering requires that you first accept it as inherent to your existence. Suffering is inherent to human existence. Everyone suffers and attempts to free yourself from it like through excessive drinking, drug use or eating provide only temporary relief or increase the suffering. What's worse, often the destructive ways you avoid suffering become part of who you are. If you actually transform your suffering into anger towards others, you become an angry person. It's easy for suffering to lead to bad habits as the Dalai Lama suggests because of how the brain forms habits. According to Charles Duhigg in The Power of Habit, habits begin as conscious choices to avoid suffering, for instance, which become automated loops. The reward at the end of the loop reinforces its validity and the loop becomes a habit. For instance, you might suffer during a bad meeting with your boss and take your anger out on your family which gives you relief. The relief reinforces the helpfulness of this loop in your mind and it becomes a habit. Viewing suffering as a fact of life may seem like it just causes more suffering, rejoins Cutler. It therefore might seem best to avoid thinking or talking about suffering. In Buddhist philosophy, ignorance, hatred and craving create suffering. When you start eliminating those root causes of suffering, you move toward freedom from suffering. The Dalai Lama discusses your ability to eliminate suffering but doesn't say what will happen once you do this. In Theravada Buddhism, once you have eliminated suffering, you become a person someone who is attained nirvana, spiritual enlightenment. There are four stages of becoming this, each one involving the elimination of different cravings, forms of anger and types of ignorance. Acceptance of suffering is the first integral step towards eliminating it, says by Dalai Lama. If you cannot accept that life is suffering, you will only ever apply spot solutions to your suffering, like the destructive forms of numbing described above. You won't free yourself from its root, causes of ignorance, hatred and craving. So now you can judge yourself, you can see your inner self and tell yourself why you are suffering and why you are suffering so much ask yourself thank you so much <laughs>